when you're when you're like EQing shit, I, or when I was EQing shit, I was usually doing shit like this. You know, I was like taking frequencies out and like you know doing little surgical shit. And then I started to realize like I'm leaving all of this information. And I think that like that's what contributes to muddiness. So like nowadays, instead of you know doing something like if this frequency, let's see, so for example, say, oh man, that's so harsh. Like instead of taking that out, like the majority of this sound, basically this is all going to lead to practicing additive EQing instead of subtractive, which is boosting. So like instead of me, uh, you know, it's taking out like harsh frequencies, I'm going to lower the volume of the whole thing and then only use the frequencies that I need, which in this case is like mid-range, right? Like, which part of this sound are you really going to hear in this song right now? Like, that sounds the most prominent, right? So it's like, why wouldn't I just, like, accentuate the prominent frequencies? All of them. You know, I've already adjusted the volume for the harshness. Like, it's already at a volume where I think it's cool. And now I can, like, turn the volume down to the whole thing. And still... Look, I'm going to turn it down by 8 dB. And I can hear it a little. So basically, I've lowered the whole volume of the track by 8 dB, but I have boosted just the most prominent frequencies by 17 dB, right? So now I have only the loudest frequencies in the sound and none of the mush around it. So it's like, I'm going to... I'm gonna, it's additive EQing. And it's it's kind of like, like I used to always say, never use an EQ as a volume knob, but that's wrong. So that's wrong. I think this is an example of how you can use an EQ as a volume knob of sorts. But like people, when they're EQing shit, they always forget there's a volume knob, you know? That's why I would always say like, don't just fucking, you know, EQ out the harshness of that guitar. Like, you you know you you EQ out that really prominent frequency and you're leaving all this mush behind and then you're turning the whole guitar up because it has less of that harsh frequency and you want more of the like dominant frequencies but you're also getting all the mud around it too why not just boost the dominant frequencies and turn down the whole guitar huge fucking moment for me that huge moment huge fucking moment all right <clears throat> sorry 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 sorry